So I'm here today, beautiful Fadi. We went on a really special shoot and I fell in love with this beautiful face. So I'm so excited to have you here on my chair. Starting off by prepping the skin with a little bit of moisturizer. This is Dr. Hashka's Rose Day Cream, which is really rich and nourishing. Look at that glow. Talking of glow, the foundation I'm gonna use is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation, which is this one here. Um, it gives kind of a medium coverage, but a lovely glow to the skin. This is quite a warm shade, so I'm going to mix two shades on Fadi Skin. This is 7N, and then I'm going to put something slightly lighter and a little bit more yellow base just in the centre of her face here. And that way you get something that's a really good match to the skin tone and still keeps the dimension in the skin. So now I'm going to conceal. You can kind of see that with that lighter shade in the cheeks, it makes the whole skin look a little bit more balanced. I'm going to use two different concealers. I'm going to use one on any little dark marks, like this tiny little one on the forehead here. This is Max Studio Finish Concealer, which I'm just pressing on um, just to kind of ensure that the skin looks really flawless. And then under the eyes, I'm going to use a different concealer to this one. Actually, let's put a little bit of this one also just in this area here, just to really brighten any darkness. So now the concealer I'm going to use under the eyes is a Nabla close-up concealer in the shade Warm Honey, um, which looks really bright once it goes on, but actually once that's blended in, I think it's just going to really brighten the under eye area, but still in a natural way. Also, if we kind of blend that over cheekbones, it helps to add even further dimension to the face. Look at this beautiful skin. It's <laughs> literally like butter your skin. It's Thank so you. beautiful. What is the secret? Um, water. Okay, lots I, of water. That's I good. I love water. Um, mm -hmm. I do make sure I cleanse quite a lot. And especially because my, my skin's so dry, like I just moisturise it quite a bit. And make sure it's always kind of got yes, a lot of what it needs. On. And I bet your mum has beautiful skin, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm moving on to eyes. I've kept the lids bare up until this point, and I just put concealer under the eyes rather than on top. But now I just want to balance out some of the darkness that we get at the top of lids. So I'm using a NARS shadow primer in the shade dark. And this is very similar to Fuddy skin tone, so it's just literally going all over the lid and going to act as a base. So the look I'm going to show you is kind of like a sculpted and sultry eye. Um, it's a look I do a lot, but I feel like there's not many tutorials out there of this kind of look on darker skin tones. So I just want to kind of show you the best way of really emphasizing the eyes and making them pop, but also keeping those tones really neutral. So what I'm doing now is I've just got a gel liner from Ilia in the shade Dusk, and I'm sketching that along the lash line and also up into the socket here. So what that pencil does is it just kind of acts as a base and gives us something for the eyeshadow to stick to. So I'm using the Dior Custom Eyeshadow Palette now and I'm taking that brown shade and just going over the top of that liner. And that brown shade is a little bit lighter than the liner and slightly warmer and it's also got a bit of shoft, uh, shoft, soft kind of sparkle to it so it just really is easy to blend and kind of gives us that little bit of definition in the socket without being too harsh. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the black shade from the palette and the corner of the brush and I'm just kind of going to press that along the lash line a little bit in the socket too. That's just going to give us a little bit of extra definition. So what I want to do now is I just want to clean up that shape. So with the same base that we used on the lid, which is that NARS shadow primer, I'm just going with a clean brush and that product right under that socket that I've drawn on and that's going to further help define the shape and just keep the look really clean. So now I'm going to move on to liner. I'm just lining the top lid if you look down for me and keeping that liner a little bit thicker in the outer corners. I'm using an Inglot gel liner and a very fine brush. I always find my liner brushes from art stores because I find the synthetic hair that you get actually holds together the best when they're kind of like a paintbrush rather than a makeup brush. Just bringing that liner about as far out as our eyeshadow. 
And that's just going to kind of further help to define that lash line and really lift the shape of the eyes. And now I'm just going to curl the lashes. So if you look straight ahead for me, um, I just want to make sure that the lashes are really lifted. And then I'm going to apply some individuals. But actually curling them before you apply the individuals really does help those individuals kind of sit in the right direction. Beautiful. Okay, so I've just put individual lashes and lots of mascara on. I've used my No Lash Lash and the Dior Pump and Body Mascara. Now as the finishing touch to these eyes, I'm just taking some of this like shimmery gold shade. And if you close, I'm gonna just press that just to the center of the lid here. And that's just gonna give a little pop of something pretty and shimmery just in the lid, which is so pretty, and a little bit also in the inner corner of the eye here. So now I'm going to transform your brows, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna use soap brows, a couple of sprays of um, just the Urban Decay Fixing Spray, but you can really use any sort of facial mist or fixing spray. This is the into the brows. And then I'm going to use some Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel just to really kind of draw on hair-like strokes and give you a whole new brow. Excited. So I'm using two different shades. I'm using Medium Brown and Ebony. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want brows to look really natural and have a lot of kind of depth to them rather than just be one flat color. Starting off with a lighter shade, and I'm just kind of sketching from this part of the brow onwards. And then once I've kind of given myself a base with this color, I'm going to go over the top with a darker shade just to give us more of that kind of defined hair-like strokes. I mean, the real secret to just having brows that look super natural, even when they're really penciled in, is just layering that product to create as much kind of dimension and shape as possible. So that's what I'm doing really. I'm just keep going back in with that product really small amounts at a time on a brush just to kind of draw in these hair-like strokes rather than sort of one big swipe which then ends up looking a little bit flat and fake. So now the eyes are done, I just want to move on to finishing the skin. I'm just setting that skin with a little bit of powder because we didn't use any powder earlier. I just really wanted to see how that foundation would settle before I applied powder. The powder that I'm using is this one from Bite Beauty, which is called um, Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. So it's got a little bit of coverage in with it too, which is quite nice. I'm using the shade Deep too, and mainly just kind of pressing this onto the skin so that it still looks very really light and natural but then still kind of gives us that tiny bit of extra coverage and sets that foundation. Also taking a little bit of that powder on a smaller brush just under the eyes which is going to really help to set that concealer. Now I want to add some contour into the skin so I'm using these two shades here from the Lion King Luminous palette and just a little angle brush and I'm just going to kind of create a little bit of shadowing just under the cheekbones here but the same as with the eyes I want the skin to be kind of softly sculpted but in a very kind of natural um, not too heavy way so I think this looks beautiful I'm going to apply some blush too. I'm just using this colour in the centre of this blush trio from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the shades Peachy Love. Uh, just with the same brush, just kind of um, dusting that over the apples of the cheeks. And this is a kind of really fresh, quite subtle skin um, tone for Friday skin tone, which is really pretty. Now I'm going to highlight the skin with this beautiful highlighter, which is from a brand called Uma. We think it's pronounced Puma. Um, it's a black magic carnival highlight in the shade Barbados. But it's a really beautiful, rich golden tone that gives a, like a really beautiful kind of shimmery payoff on the skin. So I love this highlighter, especially for deeper skin tones. So 
just dusting this on the very tops of cheekbones. And you have phenomenal cheekbones. Thank you. I am in love with how that makes the skin look. Look at that glow, so beautiful. Just the same highlighter now and a smaller brush. I'm gonna take a tiny little touch of that. And rather than highlighting down this whole center of the nose, I'm just gonna kind of focus on this little place here. And also just a little bit on the tip of the nose. And I'm gonna pop a bit under brow bone too. And now onto lips. I'm using a Smashbox lip liner. Um, this is in the shade Nude Dark. And I am just going to go all over the lip line, but also colour in the outer corners of the mouth here because I'm going to use quite a sheer nude lipstick. It's quite nice to add this little bit of dark definition at the corners of the mouth first. Also emphasises this beautiful kind of pouty shape of Fardy's lips. The lipstick I'm going to use is this one from Tom Ford. It is a kind of sheer glossy lip colour and you would think that this would be too pale a nude for Fardy's skin tone but actually because it's really peachy and quite sheer it's one of the most versatile lipsticks this. One of my most favourite nudes. So just popping this all over the lips and then it's obviously going to be a lighter in the centre where that lip liner hasn't gone. And when this is on I'm going to go over it with a little bit of gloss just to warm up the tone. And now the, the gloss I'm going to use is a Bobbi Brown, um, they're called oil infused gloss. They're really non-sticky and this is such a beautiful shade. The shade is called Forever Chill and it is part of Yara's um, collection that she did with Bobbi Brown. So great job Yara, I love this shade. And actually it kind of works so well to create this kind of creamy caramel tone. And here is our finished look. I mean, Fadi, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for lending me your face. I hope you've all enjoyed the look. I have loved creating on you.